Hello everybody, and welcome to chapter 5 of Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island, The Rise of the Pirate God. And, I was in line, we're dead. This is, this is it, this is pretty much the rest of the game right here. Just uh, panning out from, from Guy Brush's grave. Pretty depressing if you ask me, there's really not much else to do. Guy Brush was stabbed. And, uh, well we got a cute little doggy here to keep our body company, so that's fine. That's all good. We should be fine. Where are we, anyway? This place looks really creepy. Why would they bury me here? On this really, really, really steep hill. I feel this dog is trying to bury dig me up, and that will not be good. Oh, jeez. Is, is that a skeleton down there? Lamp over here, and what we can look at stuff. Hello, dark in here. Um, hello. Anyone? I think I feel dirt. Oh, I definitely have mud in my teeth. What in the? Where am I? I can't see a thing. What is going Where on? Is all this dirt coming from. Maybe I'll just take some to get it out of the way. Hey, I think I can see some light. Well, let's get out of there. Grab some more of this dirt. Hey. This must be fine. I can't believe or it. Not. I've been buried alive. Again. <laughs> hey, my hand is back. Uh-oh. Well, this really can't be good. Where am I? Where indeed. I was not lying before. We are dead. That that was not a joke. But um looks like we are now in the afterlife. This is interesting. Strange turn of events. Hey puppy. Look like a little Yorkie there. Hiya doggy. Come here, boy. Oh. I wonder if he's lost. Better take him with me. Aww. Yikes. Aww. Uh maybe I should make friends with him first. <laughs> he's so fluffy, I like the puppies. R.I.P. Phineas McDriver. A.K.A. Shark Fightin' Finny. A.K.A. Shark Bait. Died from a bear attack. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're dead and we're in the afterlife, so what more can we do? Behold the remains of our dear Captain Barrett, pecked through the brains by his mutinous parrot. Ouch. Uh, of course, they have to have the cool uh, gravestones. Here lies what's-his-name. May we never forget. <laughs> Tumo dot 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 question mark. Cenotaph? The heck's this Cenotaph? All hail Santino, brilliant and brave. A pirate too good to be stuck in a grave. Hey, Santino's grave. <laughs> That'd be cool if we met up with him, but we don't. Here lies Frederick Pirate. Loving husband, devoted father, pillar of the community. Hanged because of a terrible misunderstanding. Oh. That one's actually depressing. What the heck? Noogie liked bongos and wooing the ladies. He turned on his brothers who sent him to Hades. Aw, Noogie did die. I never knew about that before. That was just sort of, uh, that was just sort of conjecture on my part, but he, they killed him. They killed Noogie. That is horrible. That's kind of cool that they had that R. there, R. though. R.I.P. Davy, a pirate reporter. His stories were long, but his obit was shorter. Okay, so whoever told me that David Nipperkin had died was right. He... He did die. What the heck? Davey, a pirate reporter. Wait, how did how did David Nippikin die? It would. Stan told us that he got bought out and used his funds to go like on a vacation or something, retire. But he's dead. Realized Ted, a pirate thief. He punched LeChuck and earned his grief. Ooh. Who's Ted? Ted the thief, thiefman. Any more? Uh, th I think that's it. But yeah, I never really looked at these graves before. And there's our grave. I brushed three foot. Mighty pirate. What the? Uh, <laughs> at least they finally got the last name right. <laughs> wow, that boat is almost too clean. Grub. Don't see one of those every day. 
in the afterlife. Grog, die Grog, shouldn't die Grog be Grog Light? Maybe they're two different things, Cherry Grog. Grog XD, what is that? Hmm, nothing. Ah, uh, how about this? Hmm, nothing. Or, no, nothing. And we don't have any money, what do we have? Dirt can't hurt. <laughs> and shred of life? For some reason, I've been able to cling to this single shred of life. That's not going to help us if we are dead. Floating lambs. Take a look at this water. What is going on here? Ew. This water is kind of slimy. Where does it go? The center of the crossroads. Ooh, and look, you can see uh, Gavish's skeleton. Ah, ske sorry, skeleton. Nice little touch there. It's a turnstile. And apparently death has yet to shed any of the inconveniences of life. Shh. Well, there's no line. The tip jar. Wow. You do pretty good in tips. Do not touch. Hey. You couldn't do anything. And how do people carry money into the afterlife anyway? Nice gondola. It's so clean, despite the fact that it's basically moving through a river of ectoplasmic sludge. I. Hey, he's got a gold tooth. So how you doing, buddy? Uh, hi there. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, and I think I may be dead. Hi. Nice outfit. I. Am I really dead? I. With this guy. <laughs> Am I really, really dead? I. So I'm completely dead. I... Yeah, he's not lying. We're, we're dead. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm not just mostly dead? I forgot he said that. Uh, okay, look. You do still have a tiny shred of life you seem to be hanging on to, but for all intents and purposes, let's just call it dead. Dead. Yeah, pretty much. Because if we were uh, mostly dead, like, you know, in Princess Bride, then we'd still actually, you know... Not, we, we wouldn't be here as a ghost, I don't think. This boat looks immaculate. You'd never suspect it hauls around dead people all day. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Oh, do you go there too? <laughs> Took me a second. Have we met before? Nay. Oh, he does look like the guy from Crystal Monkey Island that uh, rode us to... What was it? Skull Island. You look familiar. Are you sure we haven't met before? I... Is there any chance you can take me back to the land of the living? Nay. Uh, where are you going in this boat? To the crossroads. I'm guessing we want to go there. Can we go to the crossroads now? Pay me. How much does it cost? The golden eyes of everlasting sleep. Eyes of everlasting sleep? I have to give you my eyes? Nay. I mean, I know that I'm dead, but I'm still rather attached to my eyes. You do not? Can I still see without them? I'm still really new to this whole being dead thing. It's a metaphor, you Philistine. <sighs> Just give me the two gold coins that were placed on your eyes when you were buried. Uh-oh. Oh, golden eyes of everlasting sleep. I get it. But wait, I wasn't buried with any coins. <laughs> Typical pirate. No coins, no crossroads. We don't even know if we were uh, buried at all. Who knows what happened? I found a dog. Is it yours? Nay. Do you know what that dog is doing over there? Nay. Why is there a grog machine in the afterlife? For the thirst of eternal waiting. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay. I'll be back when I find some coins. I... Well, I'll tell you right now, we can look all around, but the only money we can find is in this tip jar. And he's obsessive about that clean boat. Let's do something about that. Distract him a little bit. I think he missed a spot. 
<sighs> There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Ugh, pig knuckles. I just realized <laughs> that too. Run, kids. Pig knuckles. Well, he's distracted. He's got plenty of money in there. I'll just take a little. All right. Well, we have money now. Actually, I want to get a grog before we set out. It's something for the road. Take a look at this. Mo money, mo ability to solve puzzles. <laughs> Actually, what happens if we give him that? Because he wants the two gold coins. Will he give us change? Or... Here's some cash for the ride. Exact change only. Seriously? You won't even make change for me? Nay. Huh. <laughs> bot. Okay, so yeah, we have to use the grog machine. Uh, do, 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 do. Great. Now, what am I thirsty for? Let's try a cherry grog. That actually looks pretty good. Oh, I guess there's no cherry grog. Shoot, that's my second favorite flavor. Right after purple. <laughs> uh, grog, grog XD. XD. Well, this must be that new high-energy grog that all the kids are drinking these days. It's sold out. Which is fine by me. Kerosene and battery acid tend to keep me up at night. Ooh. Diet grog? Diet grog is sold out. I guess even ghost pirates need to watch their figures. I actually really like Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi. I, I'm not much of a sugar mm. fan. Cool, refreshing grog on the go. For when you need that extra something to face your day. And? Can we get some change? Hmm. Nothing. Um. Did we get any change? Grog. Because sometimes you have to put your face in hot lava to prove you're a man. Okay. I'm actually at a loss here. Hi. It's me again. I... Can I ride the ferry for free? Nay. Can you loan me a dollar? Nay. I'll be back when I find some coins. I. There. Can we kick the grog machine? Um. Looks like this machine only takes bills. Nothing. I'm actually really confused here. Still have some dirt. Do we just get his boat dirty again? I guess I'll try that. I think you missed a spot. Nay. There's a big... What? Alright, let's try this again. Maybe just a little more. A whole eight. Alright, whatever. Let's try this again. What am I thirsty for? Actually, let's see if we just get some change. Hey, it made change for me. There we go, okay. I think when I first played this, that's what I did the first time instead of getting a grog, so I figured it out sooner. Anyway, but now we have change. Two golden pieces Gold of Gold coins. In the Chuck's haste to murder me and steal my wife, he forgot to put a couple of pennies on my eyes to secure my safe passage to the afterlife. Jerk. All right. All right, now we can pay the guy. Here you are. Two gold coins. Please take me to the crossroads. I... Please enter the boat single file. While the boat is in motion, you must keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times. The ferry to the center of the crossroads is not responsible for any belongings left on the boat after departure. I love how almost every single video game that fits the afterlife, you always have the boatman. That's like part of uh, Greek mythology. In Greek mythology, the ferryman is called a... Charon, C H A R O N. Uh. Okay. 
Okay, so, uh... Oh, wow, this, uh... This is kind of gloomy. I'm sailing away. Oh, there we go. There's a place where we can land. Oh, oh a new arrival! Hey! Sorry about that, but without the flash of enlightenment, old Caleb can't get a good exposure. Come, buy a souvenir picture. Uh, uh, no thanks. Heck. I don't have any money. Is that so? Well, let's just see what you have on you. Not Indeed, much. Indeed, you are broke. Well, sure. when you do get your hands on some cash, which will probably be pretty soon on account of your being a pirate and all, don't forget to come back and purchase this lovely commemorative photo of your very own spirit entering the crossroads. That's fine. Just stay out of my pockets, will you? Yeah, that was uncomfortable, bro. Ah, here we go. The final chapter of Tales of Monkey Island. Well, here we are. If you recall, I think uh, somewhere in the voodoo lady's house, I think on one of her tapestries or something, the crossroads is actually depicted. This must be the center of the crossroads. Yes. This is the point at which every soul must choose their ultimate pirate path. You may choose sword mastery, thievery, or treasure hunter. <laughs> How piratey. That's... That... Wait a minute. Okay, for, I don't know why I didn't even remember this until just right now. This, these are the tasks we had to do in the very first Monkey Island to become a pirate. Remember that? Oh, I completely. Oh, that is so awesome. And even that little thing, the treasure huntery. Oh man, I don't know how I forgot that. That's awesome. I love how they reference that. Love it. Excuse me. I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Tripwood? And this guy, Gala, but he was actually depicted in the Voodoo Lay's house as well. Remember in the very first chapter, there was that weird shrine that had that weird face on it? I believe this is that guy. Hmm, why didn't she have a shrine to this guy? Who knows? And I believe, I think his accent is like a French-Canadian accent. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's kind of what it sounds like. Where am I? And what is the crossroads anyway? The crossroads are where the physical and spiritual realms meet and where your journey into the afterlife begins. From here you can choose your final fate and fulfill your pirate destiny in Fillers Green. Or maybe you'll just mope about like a schlub. Personally, you look a bit like a moper to me. Hey. What are you doing here? You might say, I'm a lost soul trying to find my way, but I can't seem to find my guide dog. I've been here a long time, so if you get lost and need some guidance, you come see me. You want us to get guidance from you who can't get guided because he doesn't have his guide dog? What? Where am I? And what like, is the I, crossroads anyway? Did I already choose that? The crossroads are where the physical yeah, and yeah. spiritual... Do you know the voodoo lady? Can you be a bit more specific? Maybe a name? I've known a lot of voodoo ladies in my time. I, uh, never got her name. Yeah, she never gave it to us, but she did have a shrine of you for some reason. I noticed I have a shred of life in my pocket. Why? Everyone shows up with something that they cling to. Ah. You must have thought that staying alive was pretty important for some reason. Well, yeah, I... Me? I brought a corn dog. I love corn dogs. So I guess we bring whatever is most important to us. And for garbage, the most important thing is to live. Where did the creepy boatman go? His only job is to ferry arriving souls to the crossroads where they can choose their eternal destination. Once he's done his job, he'll no longer appear to you. Also, he said he had to leave early for his sister's baby shower. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, we can actually use his boat now, but we don't need to. At the moment. Has anyone ever been able to return to the land of the living? Nope, never. No, sir. Can't be done. 
Are you sure no one has ever been able to return to the land of the living? Whoever told you a thing like that? Of course it can be done. Why, I remember a handsome young pirate who returned to the land of the living once, hoping to reunite with his one true love. That's what I need to do. LeChuck, I think his name was. Mm, LeChuck? But he came back to life as, in order, a ghost, a zombie, a demon, a living statue, and a killer walrus. I don't want to be any of those. <laughs> don't think that true love thing worked out too well for him either. Things started getting awfully crowded around here after he returned to the living. Well, how did the Chuck escape? He just grabbed himself aboard, caught a gnarly wave, and was out of here. What? Are you lying to me? What? What did I say? <laughs> that he surfed his way out. What? No, that'd be stupid! LeChuck returned to the world of the living with a powerful voodoo spell that he obtained from the other side. A spell? Yep. And if there's one thing I know about, it spells. Ah. What happened to the spell LeChuck used to return to the land of the not dead? Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads. But no one knows for sure. Well, it's been great talking to you, strange old man who kind of smells like olives, but I don't plan on sticking around here in the afterlife. My wife is still alive out there somewhere. You do that. Might be surprised at what you find when you get there, though. What do you mean? I died like two minutes ago. <whistles> huh? Uh-oh. What is he talking about? So yeah, if you remember, LeChuck came back from the land of the dead as a ghost. And then, with a voodoo spell done by Lager Legrand, he came back as a zombie. And then because of his cursed voodoo cannonball, he was destroyed, but then came back as a demon. And uh, because of freaking what's-his-face, uh, Ozzy Mandrill, he was uh, rescued from his ice prison that we trapped him in. And somehow was able to turn into several different things, including a politician, but then was turned into a giant statue, and... Well, when the ultimate insult blew up, he was kind of flung out to somewhere, but he still lived. And somehow got his hands on a whole bunch of cursed monkeys and made himself into that giant walrus thing. Oh, man, LeChuck. But anyway, I think us coming back as a ghost will be sufficient. That'll be fine. So, anyway... Where should we go? We're at the center. We have a few different choices here. Hmm. So, what? Where should we go? Sword fighting, thievery, or treasure huntery? Oh, we can go back to the gateway too, but you'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.